Hey there everybody and welcome to the very first Heavy House tutorial. I'm David Halston and we're going to go through some Cycles 4D. I had a few people request a tutorial on this daily project that I had posted up a couple months ago and I'm here to give it a shot. I broke everything down into sections. I'm not a huge fan of long tutorials so hopefully we can keep this short and you guys can learn something. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to go over is just setting up an HDRI environment in Cycles 4D. Uh, just throwing a cube in the scene, sending it to the ground level, and then we're going to add a plane in, set it to 2000 by 2000. Now we're going to add in a CY environment object. I have a shortcut in my layout, but you can also access it through the drop down menu or by hitting Shift C and just searching for CY environment. That automatically adds a background material. Uh, let's double click on that. Go in to the node editor, right click, go to texture, environment texture, and then pipe that into your background. Okay, everything has gone pink. It doesn't have an image that it's referencing. So we're gonna go through two ways to do this. First is the content browser. I'm just searching for an HDRI, which I don't really have a lot of here, but um, grab an HDRI that'll work and you just drag that right onto the uh, texture file path. Now it's not going to show up here. You need to go down to your environment texture and just uncheck load from disk. That gives you access to anything from the content browser. If you're not using the content browser uh, and you're just loading it up from your hard drive, you don't need to uncheck that. The other way that I'm going to go over to add HDRI to your scene is by using the Grayscale Gorilla plugin HDRI link. Uh, you go over to your object panel, tags, and go down to HDRI link. Back to your background material, drag your texture directly onto the HDRI link, and then it's going to show you that it's it's looking for something, you can't see anything. Go back to HDRI link, launch a browser. By clicking on any of the images in the browser, it will load that into your scene, and you can choose from whichever one you would like. Hopefully this tutorial was useful for you. On the next couple tutorials, I'll be finishing up on how to build out the rest of this scene. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and anything else that you might like for me to cover in the future. Thanks, guys. See ya.